Assalamu alaikum everyone. Sadia Gondal here from Javed Publishers. Today we will be doing Grade 4 English Chapter Number 12. The topic is Safety Rules and we will be doing question and answers of this chapter today. Section A, Reading Comprehension Questions. Question Number 1. Why was Fezan sitting quiet? The answer is Fezan was sitting quiet because he had seen a terrible accident. Question number two, what happened to the motorcyclist when he fell off? The answer is, the motorcyclist fell off and got injuries. Question number three, what makes us a responsible citizen? The answer is, following the rules of traffic and the safety rules make us a responsible citizen. Question number four, what should a pedestrian choose to cross the road? The answer is, a pedestrian should choose zebra crossing to cross the road. Question number five, what do the traffic lights indicate? The answer is, traffic light indicates when to stop and when to get ready and go. On page number 84, we have to mark the statement correct or wrong. Number one, Pazan came back home, dropped his books off and sat on sofa. Correct. Number two, did something wrong happen at school? The mother asked. It is incorrect. Number three, if there is no pavement, walk as far on the right as possible. That is a correct statement. Number four, before crossing the road, look in both the directions. That's correct. Number five, yellow traffic light indicates to stop. Now that is a wrong statement. Now we will be doing section B, oral communication, and we will be learning about intonation pattern. Intonation is the rise and fall of our voice. And we will be learning about rising intonation and falling intonation. Rising intonation means when we raise our voice. For example, do you like your new teacher? You like playing football, don't you? He's a good student, isn't he? The view is attractive, isn't it? So here, did you notice that at the end of the sentence or where the arrows are, I raised my voice a little bit. Now let's learn about falling intonation. Now here, we would drop our voice. Nice to meet you. Put the cup of tea on the table. When does the shop open? How nice of you. So here you noticed I dropped my voice at the marks where there was the down arrow or I lowered my voice here. Number two, read the given sentences and pick the correct intonation. A, accident can happen anywhere. This is a falling intonation sentence. B, what's your location? This is a rising intonation sentence. C, a good citizen follows traffic rules. A good citizen follows traffic rules. This is falling intonation sentence. D. Hurrah! I won the game. Now that is a rising intonation statement. Let's talk about interpretive questions. They are those questions in which we give answers by taking examples from the text. So basically, we answer interpretive questions when we read the text and then we are able to give more than one answers. Question number one is, what is the importance of following traffic rules? Discuss. The answer is, traffic rules help save our lives. By following these rules, we can avoid accidents and injuries. And by not following the traffic rules, we can hurt ourselves. Number two, how did the motorcyclist get injuries? The answer is, the motorcyclist broke the signal and was hit by a car coming from the other side. Question number three, how can we cross the road safely? The answer is, we should cross the road by using zebra crossing. And also, before crossing the road, look first in both the directions. On page number 85, we have a dialogue about simple instructions and directions. I'm going to read the dialogue out. Mother, hey, you're again late today? It has become your habit to reach late. Akib, mom, I got stuck in the traffic. There was an accident on the road. All people gathered around and they did not follow the traffic rules. Mother, wasn't there any traffic police? Akib, yes, mom. They came later and cleared the roads. Mother, oh, and what about your English desk? Akib, I got full marks in it. My class teacher also appreciated me. 
Now I'm feeling hungry. Is the lunch ready? Mother, that's great. Now go and change your clothes. Lunch is ready. Akhil, okay. Let's talk about now. Thank you very much for watching. Apna bahut sara khayal rakhiyega. Aur jude rahiyega bolti kitabon ke saath.